Hello everyone, this is Sam from Deep South Overlander. In this episode, I'm going to prep my wheels on the LX470 and refinish them. I thought about sandblasting him and uh, bringing him to a powder coating outfit, but I've heard that sometimes it can weaken uh, the aluminum rims. I don't know, I've never done that. I can't corroborate whether that's not or true. Please leave me a comment if you agree or disagree. Um, nonetheless, I'm going to just simply prep them myself here at the shop, it shouldn't be too hard, and then I'll do a little do-it-yourself uh, guide on how to get that done. Those rims are not bad at all, they haven't had any curb rashes. Uh, the fifth wheel, which was the spare under the truck, has spent about 21 years under the truck, so it's a, it's a little bit worse shape than the other four actually, has a little bit more oxidation but uh, nothing a little uh, sending and, and quick prepping shouldn't be able to take care of. After that, we will mount the, uh, Disco the Cooper Discover SST Pro in 285-75R16 on. They should look absolutely killer on those rims refinished. And later on, I'll put them on the truck and we'll do a big reveal. So stick around to the end of the video and here we go. First thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna knock out all the weights that are on these rims and then uh, we'll bring them into the uh, the cleaning station that I've set up. So to remove these weights, I'm using this little pry tool. I'm being careful not to damage the rim. I will not be painting the inside of the rim. It's completely unnecessary. I'm just going to focus on the outside. I'm using green much bright pads on these rims to really get the grime out. It is part of the process of prepping the wheels for paint, so I'm not worried about scratching, obviously, the finish, and this will get the job done. Well, to get them clean, there is no magic. It's all good old-fashioned elbow grease. A little uh, Scotch-Brite pad, a little bed, a little bath of uh, simple green and dish soap, and just go ahead, go to town and clean everything really good, as, as good as you can, and then um, I use the pressure washer with hot water to uh, to uh, get all the soapy residue out. All right, so to give you an idea on what I'm looking for here when I clean them, this is uh, one that hasn't been cleaned. So you can see how it looks. It's just kind of grimy and dusty. And this is one that has been cleaned. So it's really, all the gunk has been taken out. I've, I've gone into all the nook and, nooks and crannies of the, uh, <clears throat> the lug nuts and cleaned it all real good. Um, from the back side, from the back side, it's it's reasonably clean, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Nobody ever sees that side anyway. And the opening on these rims, or by opening, I mean these, is so small that once you put the tire on, you don't see the color of this anyway. So that's gonna be plenty. We're gonna go on and do the other four rims. So we're going to attack this uh, the spare wheel first and most importantly these uh, these marks right here, right here, right here. Okay, so for a heavy duty one right here, then a less aggressive, then we have various sandpaper. We have 400, 600, 1500 for the very finish which we'll, which we'll use wet. Okay guys, so, so the area that we're going to focus is, is right here first. So I'm gonna take that aggressive pad and I'm gonna go to town on it. So what I want is just lock it, lock. Sort of knock the loose stuff that's into that area. And you, can, you can tell that this is um, oxidation because it creates a little white powder. not going to be very smooth with this, what the Dremel says.
we're not looking for perfection. We just want to really kind of, kind of lock, knock the loose stuff off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to finish up with very fine sandpaper anyway. So all we worry about right now, all we worry about is just kind of knocking the, the loose stuff, the big, take the bigger box out. A wire brush wheel and see how that, see how that works on some of the areas. Let's see. Yeah, this is great. Let me see. I have another one here, which is this works really well and again if these scuffs are a little deep it doesn't matter because i'm going to remove them with uh with the sandpaper process let's see how this works yeah this is great oh this is perfect perfect yeah Yeah, awesome. Much better that that uh, sending disc actually. Much faster, and actually a little easier on the uh, on the finish. Believe it or not. Yeah, this is great for getting into those little into those little nooks and crannies that uh, I couldn't get to because it's flexible and it's sort of it contours the uh, it goes into the uh, the groove of of the wheel a lot easier. This is perfect. All right, I'm going to continue this. So I don't know if you can uh, see, but um, I've knocked out most of the loose stuff here. I'm going to bring you in for, for a close-up. And um, the majority of the stuff, like, like here, is now completely smooth. And so at this point, I'm going to give this a little wash, and then I'm going to start sending a little bit more. But... The result is great. And actually what produced the best result was this tool right here. It's a little wire, br wire brush, um, sort of a cone shape wire, br wire brush that I put on the Dremel and I put the Dremel between eight and 10,000 RPM and it just works fantastically well. Like right here, um, Let's see. Like right here, it's still a little rough, so I'm gonna put the Dremel at 10,000. Yeah, this is fantastic. This works really well. Like I said, I'm going to go away around, clean it, put some rubbing alcohol probably to get most of the dust out. And then I'm going to start slowly. Uh, I'm going to start with the big, uh, very aggressive scuff pad. Then I'm going to move on to a little finishing and then I'll f probably finish with uh, 900 and 1500 um, grit sandpaper, which I'll use wet. I just want all of this to be absolutely smooth. but. This is, this is great. And the other rims, all I gotta do, all I have to do on the other rims is just, just, you know, send them so I get a good adhesion on the primer. And that's really all there is to do on the other rims because they're perfect. This was what I was the most concerned with and it's gonna turn out to be great. I don't think you'll be able to tell the difference between this and the other four when I'm done.